Well, the hour's almost up. If the lady doesn't show up soon, the room is ours, and you can take that bath you've been dreaming about. You know what? I, I, uh, I think I'll skip the bath. Why? Is the idea of sharing a room a little too cramped for you? Matt, Ryan went back up to the, to the ski hunt to look for Ian. I mean, how can I relax in a hot tub when he's risking his life? If you wait for Ryan to stop taking risks, you'll never bathe again. Yeah, well, that would save on soap. Listen, uh, you never told me how long uh, we plan on hanging out up here. Well, I don't know about me. But, Matt, you're not obligated. I mean, you can, you can leave whenever you want. Well, I do know about me, and I'm here as long as you are. Hey. Ryan. Did you find him? No, there's no trace of him anywhere. I wish I knew what kind of game this guy was playing. The room is yours. You sure the hour's not up yet? It's late, and the blonde lady hasn't returned well, yet, uh, so enjoy. What blonde lady? Uh, Miss Hudson? Vicky's here? Do you have any idea where she is? I didn't speak with her you personally. heard where she could be, please. This is very important. All I know is she left and she never came back. I'm hungry. It's light. I'll get you something to eat in the morning. But I'm hungry. Just go to sleep. Just get me something to eat! You are a spoiled little girl, aren't you? No, I am not spoiled. I'm... Hypoglycemic, and if I don't get enough food, I just start going wacko. You know, I mean, I, I start hyperventilating. I, I, I just start going crazy. If I don't get enough food in me, I just don't have. have well, I can't keep, keep control of myself. Keep and quiet and sit down while you do. If you don't start being nicer to me, you're going to get in a whole lot more trouble than just kidnapping. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. And my husband's going to find me too. Your husband is not going to find you. Oh, come on. I'm so thirsty. I haven't had anything. And coffee's just not my cup of tea, you know? I mean, uh, don't you just give me a cold glass of milk? I mean, is that such a big deal? Might help even out my, my blood sugar and, um, you know, calm me down a little bit. And you might even find that I can be a really nice person. Come on. Please. Please, 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 we're miles from nowhere, and there's lots of animals in these mountains. Big ones. Fine, fine. We'll do things your way. I'm going to estimate Victoria Harrison. No one is going to keep me down. Spencer, how can things be in order when we don't know who the other raider is? No, listen, I wish you were here in Bay City calling the shots. Of course I sound nervous. I am nervous. Listen, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later, okay? Hi, Pumpkin. You're late. Oh, sorry, Amanda and I got to talking. Yeah? Hi. Who's that on the phone? Ah, uh, it's nobody. It was uh, just some stuff about the wedding. Nothing for you Is to worry about. This where I become Mrs. Yeah. Jake McKinnon? Wait, wait. Wait, let me see. Let me see. 11 bathrooms? 14 fireplaces? Dog runs? Like it? What happened to the small, simple ceremony, sweetheart? Yeah, well, this is for afterwards. Wow, that's some honeymoon suite. Mmm, I was thinking more permanent, though. You're not planning on living there, are you? Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger place to live after we get married. And who's gonna live with us, the royal family? Jake, we couldn't even afford the kennels on places like this. Well, once upon a time, I might have agreed with you, but... But yeah. now what? Where are you gonna get that kind of money, Jake? Do you have any idea where this lady went? 
I believe she was hoping to find a room elsewhere. Yeah, it's got to be Vicky. I'm afraid I've held the room as long as I can. Would you like to register? You and Matt check in. Go upstairs and wait. For what? For Vicky. When she gets here, do whatever you can, but keep her here, okay? Where are you going? I'll be back. Ryan! and stupid thing to do. You could have got yourself killed. Uh, so he wouldn't get me. You seem to be doing a good job of that by yourself. Do you realize that winter is not the only time people die of overexposure yeah. in these mountains? I can't even believe anything you say. Well, you had better start. If you get lost out there, it'll be weeks before they find the body. What's left of it? I'm not afraid of a bunch of raccoons, and I'm certainly not afraid of you. Let go of me. Put me down. Just stop it. Put me down. Stop it. Don't help. Help. Shut Somebody up. help me. Shut help up. Me. Shut help up. Me. Shut up. Help me. There's no use in screaming around here, right? People are not going to hear you well miles from anywhere. All right, darling. What are we supposed to do then? Just wait for the seven dwarves to come home? What? What's wrong with your foot? I twisted it when you grabbed me. I'm sorry. You better dry off. No, thank you. I said no, thank you. Look, you better get one thing clear. I only care about one thing, and it's not you. Fine, I'll bite. You said this has nothing to do with money. Who are you after and why? This is all the data that the accountants have turned in, huh? Yes, that's what they tell me. It's coming in in bits and drabs, but I think these are the people we can count on. Good. The field of enemies is narrowing. Thanks. Are you two still crossing off names? No, not as many as we'd like. Cass is looking for a link among the stockholders who are not supporting us. Yeah. Sometimes these corporate raiders don't cover their tracks as well as they think. Well, I hate to be the voice of doom, but we do have a stockholders meeting coming up. And, well, even if you find out who the shark is, what are you going to do to stop them? Well, that depends. But whatever it is, it better be good, because we're up against a pro. I can't imagine Mac's company being run by anyone else. I mean, that's what he wanted. He wanted this to be a family business. It will. We're not going to let anybody take over control of I Corey. I hope you're right. I'm getting bleary-eyed, OK? I'm going to take a break. Go ahead. Well, we expected you sooner, sweetie. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> I stopped by to see Grant. I thought that was going to stop once the book was written. He had left his speech over at our pool, and, well, he needed a friend, Mom. Things are really rocky with Vicky. Do you really think that's wise to be his confidant? Mom, please, he needed someone to talk to. Yes, somebody who supports his marriage, who likes Vicky. Well, that's a tall order. Honey, I think you're on shaky ground here. Mom, I'm being careful. It's just, it's so hard to watch him try to make her happy. She doesn't appreciate it. Honey, I know you feel sympathetic toward him because of everything you've gone through, and I know how hard it is to watch this. Especially since you think that Sam should have done half the things Grant's doing. Yeah. But the truth is, I mean, Vicky is wrong about so much. I think you better keep that to yourself. Well, here are some more files from the accountants. Could be our answer. I don't think so. I think it's just more information about proxy votes already cast. Well, we just have to look carefully through that. That could have our answer. I hope so, but I'll tell you one thing. Whoever it is, I'm going to string them up by the ears. Or worse. <sighs> Jake, I like living here. I have everything I want. Mm. Oh, sweetheart, it's perfectly all right to dream. I mean, with each day, Spencer gives me more work and more responsibility. Which makes me proud, even if it is for Spencer. Yeah, well, I'm going to make us rich. <laughs> Not rich enough to buy a shack like this, Jake. These cost at least a few million. I will be in that league very soon. Jake, you can't make your personal fortune on charitable donations. It's wrong, it's unethical, it's Alina, not... The foundation is just the beginning. I mean, being Spencer's protege opens me up to some major opportunities. Honey, I think you're getting carried away. Yeah, well, maybe I am, but I want you to have everything that you ever wanted when you were a grubby little kid on Gold Street. I already have what I wanted most. A family. A husband. 